before I begin this video, if you have never listened to the Baited Podcast, do yourself a favor and listen to any of the first 13 episodes. Okay, maybe not the Zoe Burger one, that one was trash, but listen to them. They are they are great, trust me, they are so entertaining. So, Baited Podcast... Some of you might know, some of you might have listened to the uh, to the Baited Podcast. Maybe some of you are regular listeners to it, like I, it, like I am, or was. And maybe some, and probably some of you have never even heard of it. So I'll give you the rundown, just, uh, just for, uh, just briefly. Um, so the Baited Podcast is, uh, is hosted by Keenstar, yeah. And, um, they, and he has two other, uh, two other, um, hosts with them. And they pretty much discuss drama on YouTube. Now I know what some of you might be thinking. Wait, don't you hate YouTube drama? And don't you hate hearing people having to discuss YouTube drama? Why would you listen to a whole podcast dedicated to it? Well, the first 13 episodes were great. And um, actually, uh, it was back in July, back when the, uh, around the time the Baited Podcast started. And uh, this was back when Keemstar was the most hated guy on YouTube. And I already hated him. I already hate. Well, I hated him way before. It was cool to hate Keemstar, but... I hated Keemstar, and I heard he had a podcast, and I was like, should I really give it a try? And then I was like, eh, why not? I have nothing better to do, to do with my time anyway. It was summer vacation, and I hardly do anything during summer vacation. So I listened, the first baited episode I actually listened to was the Tube episode, and I listened to it, and my god, I was just blown away. Like, this is unlike any other podcast I've watched, like... Keemstar, uh, the other two hosts at the time were uh, was a person by the name of Colossal is Crazy and another person by the name of Tommy C. And Keemstar and Colossal is Crazy would just clash. Like, they would scream at each other, they'd fight. And I was like, this is unlike any other podcast I've ever seen, because usually when a host has a co- has um, co-hosts with them, usually the co-hosts are just there to sit uh, sit and agree. They're pretty much guest men. They pretty much, uh, no, they pretty much listen to what the host has to say and like and are like, yeah, I agree. I agree with everything you're saying, but not in this podcast. No. Jesus Christ. And then after that, I watched the other two episodes of the Baited Podcast. I think there were only three when I first discovered it. And I and then after that, I became a regular listener. It was the only podcast I ever downloaded onto my phone. It's available on iTunes. And I, I, was, I just loved it. It was like, uh, usually podcasts bore me, and I don't have any interest in, it, in them. But well, the only other exception to the bait to bit to the baited podcast was the drunken is the drunken peasants. I really like that podcast too. But baited was some was just different because I really liked how they how Keem and Clown would just go at it, and it was just so entertaining and it was so different. So that's why I love I loved the baited podcast. So you might be wondering why do I want Keemstar to kill it off? Well. Back in December, Keemstar, Clown, and Tommy C had to fall had a falling out, and I'm not gonna I'm not really gonna explain it. It's a whole long it's a really long story, and you can search it up yourself. You'll find plenty of videos uh, discussing it. And well, they left the show, and Keemstar replaced them with two other people, which you see on the screen right now: a guy by the name of Anything for Views, and another guy by the name of Andy Milanaki. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Some guy from MTV, I think. I think he has he has or had his own show. And he actually looked up the guy. He did some movies, too. And I'm like, whoa. I didn't think he himself would actually know. Like a real actor who did a lot of Hollywood movies and did and has or had his own show on MTV. Which, that's really such a downgrade. I mean, going from that to discussing YouTube drama with other YouTubers must be sad. <laughs> but anyways... After this change, the podcast just has not been the same. The whole dynamic of Baited pretty much was Keemstar and Clown going at it, and then Tommy letting out one of his horrid laughs. Jesus Christ, guys, like one of the most annoying laughs ever. But anyways, that's pretty much the whole dynamic of the show. Pretty much just Keemstar and Clown just clashing and fighting. And now that that's gone, it's just not baited anymore. It just isn't. I mean, I really did like the, the episode where, to- where our Clown did come back. For a, for a guest appearance. That was cool because it felt like one of the um, older baited episodes where all they did was fight and scream at each other and that did happen a lot during the during his this, his uh, the episode where he guest uh, where he guest starred and <laughs> it was so nice to see that again but it it just it, it still isn't the same. That's just a one-time thing now. 
maybe it'll happen again sometime in the future. But these these two people are here to stay, and now it feels like just like any other podcast where the host says something, and then the other uh, then the co host are just uh, sitting there going, uh huh, uh huh. I mean, now it just feels like any other podcast now where the host says something and the other people d- uh, agree, and that's what made baited, and um, that's not what made ba- baited what it was. What well, baited was unique. I mean, the 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 baited used to have hosts that dis that disagreed on everything, and they would fight about it, they would scream about it, and they would yell about it, and it was so entertaining, and that's what made baited so unique. And now. That's gone, and maybe it would have worked if Teamstar got someone who did disagree with him on everything, but these two people are not uh, are not like that. I mean, Keemstar ruined such a great thing. I mean, Baited was one of the big reasons as to why Keemstar got his, he got his respect and credibility back, because around the time Baited started, that was when the hate started to die down, and people started to kind of like Keemstar again, and I know, of course, uh, after that, the, the whole Leafy Exposed thing happened. But, ba- but before that, uh, Keemstar was getting respect back, and I'm pretty sure that was mostly due to Baited, because so many people loved Baited. And now look, people are leaving in droves and and uh, and subscribing to uh, to Tommy C's and Clown's new podcast, which is called Catch Thirty Three, by the way. So yeah, I hope you're happy, Keemstar. You ruined a great thing, and you were probably never ever going to get colossal, a uh, colossal is crazy, and definitely not Tommy C back on your po- uh, back on your podcast. And it's really sad because it was such a great podcast. It was like my favorite podcast ever. Again, it was the only podcast I ever downloaded onto my phone. And I'm still going to have it on there, but I'm not going to listen to the new episodes. I'm going to keep the old ones so I can listen to it whenever I want. And it really sucks because I was such a dedicated listener. I was one. I was probably like one of the first people to listen to an episode right when it came out. Because I had it on iTunes, and I believe the iTunes and SoundCloud listeners got to listen to it a day early. I think that's how it worked because the YouTube one would always come out, uh, come out um after the um iTunes and SoundCloud versions of the podcast. Oh, and if there are any baited fanboys out there, I'm sure those exist because there was a lot of damage control in the newer episodes comments. Don't say I didn't give these episodes a fair, a fair chance, because I listened to all three of them in full, and aside from the Colossal is Crazy one, they were garbage. I hated them. I, I, I just didn't enjoy them at all. And, well, I, I think I hated the um, Forgiving Leafy and Grady one the, the most, because it was it was like ten minutes of hit of Keemstar forgiving Leafy and Grade, which I'm surprised he would, because if I were Keemstar, I would never forgive those punks, because they tried to... They nearly ruined, but they nearly ruined his reputation and his career, and his YouTube career. But whatever. Anyways, it was mo- it was like ten minutes of that, and then like thirty uh, thirty more minutes of of shit talking Tommy. Should have just called it let uh, let let shit talk Tommy C for for forty minutes and just throw in Leafy and Gray at the at the start. But yeah, the newer episodes suck. They really really do because when an original member and well anything is taken out and replaced. It usually change. It usually is never the same, and usually changes in a very negative way. And in this case, it really did change in a very negative way. So yeah, the beta podcast is ruined, possibly ruined forever. Good going, Keemstar. Good going. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Bye bye.